video and I just want to talk to you about what to expect on your first visit to the physiotherapy department after you've been referred by your GP or consultant. The first thing most people want to know is what they need to bring with them. If you can bring a list of your current medications, including the names and the dosages, bringing your repeat prescription list is really useful. And also, if you can bring a pair of shorts, if your condition affects your lower back, your hips or your lower limbs, or vest top, if your condition affects your neck, shoulders or upper limbs. Allow enough time to find a car parking space. If you are late, we'll always do our best to try and fit you in, but sometimes if the next patient is waiting, it's not always possible and you don't want to miss out. When you get to the physiotherapy department, check in at reception and then take a seat. Your physiotherapist will call you through by name. When your physiotherapist has taken you through to a cubicle, they'll start your physiotherapy assessment. The first part of this is just a conversation. They should introduce themselves by name and they should check that they've got all your details correct. Things like your address, your date of birth and your phone number. They're going to ask you the history of your condition. When did it start? How long have you had it? And for some people this can be quite a long time ago. So it's a good idea before you arrive to have a little think about this information. Did it start gradually? Was it the result of a specific incident or injury? What's happened since? Have you seen your GP or a specific specialist? Have you had any certain types of treatment like a steroid injection or an x-ray or a scan since then? The next part of the assessment is your past medical history. This includes any current medical treatment that you're having from your GP and any major illnesses or operations you may have had in the past. So it's a good idea to make sure of the dates and names of any major illnesses or operations so that you can tell your physiotherapist. Your physio will also want to know the dosages and names of any current medications that you're taking. The final part is the social history, where your physiotherapist will ask any daily chores or daily activities that you're struggling with at the moment, what level of support you have at home, and will also ask you about your work. After the physiotherapist has completed this conversation with you, they'll want to have a look at the joints concerned with your condition, so they will ask you to get undressed. They'll want to look at the range of movement and the strength and so on. You are allowed to have somebody with you during this part of the assessment if you want to. You can bring someone with you, or when you book your appointment, you can ask to have a chaperone present. Again, at the same time, you could ask to see a physiotherapist of the same gender as yourself. At the end of your assessment, Usually the first line of treatment is to give you some exercises to do at home. When you've finished your first assessment, you'll be asked to book another appointment so your physiotherapist can see you again. If for any reason you can't attend your appointment, then please let us know. We can always refill those appointments.